Some of the greatest paintings of the late Middle Ages are not displayed on museum walls, but they shine forth from the pages of books, especially of books of hours. In the late medieval Europe, the Book of Hours was a Christian devotional manuscript used by lay people as a guidance in their daily prayers. It was a tangible status symbol, as a car can be today. Kings, queens, the aristocracy, but also the more humble bourgeoisie owned more than one of these jewel-like manuscripts, commissioned for special occasions such as weddings, births, and funerals. With a massive production resulting in more than 20,000 extant manuscripts, this liturgical bestseller is also the most dismembered category of books in history, sold as single leaves on the antiquarian book market. The custom of dismembering manuscripts for economic reasons and the real beginning of the history of collecting manuscripts single leaves begins in England in Victorian times and has never been declined since. Thousands of art treasure on parchment had thus been destroyed forever and hundreds of thousands illuminated leaves are now scattered all over the world. It is impossible to stop such a male practice. Over the years, Professor Carla Rossi, head of the Research Center for European Philological Tradition, has devised and developed a highly effective scientific methodology based on a philological approach to digital fragmentology called Wayback Recovery Method, enabling the researchers to easily electronically reconstruct such dismembered manuscripts. This procedure allows not only to find a large number of digital fragments of scattered leaves from manuscripts that have been torn apart and sold on the antiquarian book market over the last two centuries, but also to digitally reassemble a truly a huge number of manuscripts, especially of books of hours. For the reconstruction of the so-called Vaupontier hours, Professor Rossi started from a leaf owned by the Research Centre for European Philological Tradition, a leaf that turned out to be folio 46 of the parent manuscript dismember in the USA in 2014 after being auctioned in London at Sotheby's for only £20,000 sterling. Only one leaf, with a lavish miniature of the presentation in the temple, is held in a public collection, namely at the University of Melbourne Library. All others are in private hands or still for sale at dealers around the world. As can be seen from the still in progress reconstruction published here, the Pontieu Hours was a charming book of hours with an impressive array of miniatures produced in Paris around 1510 by Jean Picard's and Jean Cohen's workshop. It originally consists of 178 leaves, some leaves were misbound when the manuscript was auctioned. Carla Rossi was able to find leaves belonging to this manuscript, such as folio 73, which had already been detached as far back as the 18th century. The story of these leaves is fascinating and worth telling. The complete edition of the De Pontieu Hours will be published soon by our publishing house, along with historical textual and art historical notes. All those who possess leaves from this manuscript should be interested in leafing through it virtually, as if the manuscript was still intact. And thanks to Carla Rossi's publication, they will learn all about its history, from 1510 to the present day. <laughs>